So recently, a massive fire scorched the underside of the I-10 freeway, damaging the bridge structure and around 100 of its support columns. And some friends and family of mine have been asking me, a licensed structural engineer in California, by the way, about it. They're going, how come they're not tearing it down and replacing it? The damage looks pretty bad. Is it even safe? So I'm going to give my structural engineering insights on this. I'll be going how bad the damage to the bridge was based on what the structural engineers found, how these columns behave structurally, how the structural engineers plan to repair it, and answer the question, is it safe? And as a disclaimer, I'm not with Caltrans or part of the official structural investigation. I'm just basing this off of an LA Times article that I found where they talked about the structural damages and just giving my thoughts and observations as a random structural engineer on the internet. Structural engineers observed that the fire's extreme heat caused 100 or so concrete support columns to spall, making the concrete weak and brittle so the concrete just spalls and falls off. For most normies, this looks pretty bad, but as a structural engineer looking at it for the first time, we might be able to work with this. Why? These concrete columns are made up of vertical steel bars shown in green and horizontal steel hoops or spirals that are shown in red. The bars form a steel cage and that cage protects the most important part of the concrete column, the concrete core. This core is the structural column. If any of the concrete in the core is heavily damaged, the whole column could collapse. That's why it's so essential to keep it intact. And when there's a lot of load that's sitting on top of this column because of the bridge structure above, the concrete core wants to burst out, but the steel cage, especially the spirals that are wrapping it around, keep the core in place. Just look at what happened to these past earthquakes when there wasn't enough steel wrapping around the column. The concrete cores just exploded and burst out and the column would fail. And looking at the column from the top or from a bird's eye view, you can see that there's a layer of concrete around the perimeter of the column outside the steel cage. Structural engineers call this outer portion of concrete, concrete cover. And it's not really structural, it acts as a sacrificial layer, mainly there to protect the steel cage from the elements such as rain or in this case, fire. So if we look at the photos again, we can see that most of the damage was to the sacrificial concrete cover. If you look at the steel cage, you can see it, but you can see that the core is not damaged. So as a structural engineer looking at these for the first time, it's highly probable that these can be repaired. Assuming the fire actually didn't melt the steel cages or change and weaken their material properties. And they did mention in an article that they did perform material testing and inspections and the damage wasn't so bad that they needed to demolish any of the columns. For the repairs on these lightly damaged columns, they're probably going to remove any of the damaged concrete and then patch and grout it back in with concrete. If you're still skeptical about this, here's some test footage of a full scale bridge column subjected to a 7.3 magnitude earthquake on the largest outdoor shake table or earthquake simulator in UC San Diego. This column has a 250 ton mass on top of it to simulate the bridge deck that it's holding up. And the concrete column itself already has a lot of horizontal hoops and spirals to confine its concrete core. For the first round of earthquakes, you can see that the concrete cover just spalls and falls right off, exposing the concrete steel cage. But it should still be structurally sound since the concrete core is still intact. To test this, they put it through another round of earthquakes. It's still standing and another earthquake. And this time you can hear and see the vertical steel snapping. But it's still standing because those horizontal hoops are still keeping the concrete core intact. That's why those horizontal hoops and spirals are so important to these concrete columns. But that wasn't all of the damage. There were actually a few concrete columns that were severely damaged. For these, the fire not only damaged the steel cage, but it actually reached deep enough to damage the concrete core. So how are structural engineers going to fix these without completely demolishing them and closing down the 10 freeway? I suspect that Caltrans and the structural engineers are probably going to use a retrofit technique that they've used in the past. 
They'll probably remove and replace the damaged structural steel, remove the damaged concrete, and then they're probably going to put a steel jacket or a steel casing around the column and then fill it back with concrete. With this repair, the steel casing acts as the confinement or as the horizontal hoops and spirals that were originally there. The steel casing does the same thing. It protects and confines the concrete core. And for the bridge deck, the horizontal structure that the cars drive on top of, they found out that the fire didn't do too much damage to those, so minor repairs there. So in the meantime, contractors have put up these temporary wooden steel shoring structures that hold up the bridge. That way they can do the repairs on those, these columns. So to answer the question, is it safe? Based on the minimal damage to the concrete cores, the steel casing retrofit fix for the heavily damaged concrete columns, and the minimal damage to the bridge deck, I'd say it's probably safe. Again, this isn't based off an official engineering report. It's just based on the little information I've been able to find and my engineering judgment. If you found this video interesting, make sure to check out this one as well, where I break down the earthquake engineering technology that allows this wooden skyscraper to survive a 7.0 magnitude earthquake with barely any damage. Until next time, have a great day.